Think about the first time you looked out of an airplane window. I mean, it was amazing. Uh, I remember realizing just how big the world is and how small my perspective of it was. I mean, that's why everyone, I think, should travel if they can, uh, because it helps you see that your corner of the world uh, is just a small piece of everything that's going on, and it really sort of challenges you to get outside of your own bubble. We can get so lost in the details of anything in life uh, that we can't see how it all fits together. And, and the same is true when we study the Bible. We can get so lost in the details of a passage that we forget how it fits within the larger story of that individual book or even the whole Bible. And so we need to get a bigger perspective when we study scripture. <music> So how do you get a bigger perspective on the passage you're studying? Well, there are a few ways you could go about this. Um, and most importantly, you need to get an overview of the book. And here's how you do that. First, uh, you if it's a small book or if you have time, you can just read the book over and over again. Uh, reading a particular book three or four times um, and just taking notes over what you see happening will really help you get a sense for that book's story. Uh, and it really helps you get a sense for the content of the Bible. So it's a it's an old school way, but it's really, really effective. A second is that you can start with a resource that you probably have sitting on your bookshelf or in your hand right now, actually. Um, it, most Bibles will have an introduction at the beginning of each book. And if you have a study Bible, it most certainly will have that. You can also use the YouVersion app. And some of the translations of the Bible will actually have introductions uh, right there at the very beginning. And these introductions will be a good way of helping you um, get sort of a, an overview of what's happening in the book. You can even um, search for an uh, introduction uh, online for like the English Standard Version. You just Google English Standard Version introduction to Matthew and you'll find uh, a whole website uh, that has the, the Bible on it and has introductions to each of the books of the Bible. And these are good ways to help you get started. The third option that you could use would be the book overview videos by the Bible Project. The Bible Project is a great resource uh, for studying the Bible uh, and their book overviews are really well done. They're informed by biblical scholarship, and yet they're also really focused on the content of the Bible. And so uh, if you're studying in a particular book, um, go you could go to their website and you could watch anywhere from a five to 10 minute video about the content of that book and how it all fits together. Uh, really, really valuable resource there. A fourth is if you really want to go in depth is you can buy an Old Testament and New Testament survey. I'll have a few linked below uh, recommendations for you. Uh, but these books will vary in length, uh, but they'll really provide a lot of background information for you that will really help you understand each book of the Bible. They'll also often help you understand some bigger picture issues like the historical background and the cultural issues. Uh, and they'll, they'll go in more depth than introductions in your Bible will go into. Uh, and so they're really valuable resources. If you're building a Bible study library, uh, these are two uh, types of books that you really want to have just to be able to pull off your shelf and get a quick snapshot of what's happening in a particular section of the Bible in a particular book. Um, once you get a bigger perspective on your passage, you are ready to dive back into the details. And so if we can reimagine what we're doing, you, you open the Bible, you're excited about studying a particular passage, but you realize that you don't know what's happening around it. So you go and you get a bigger perspective. You get an overview of it and then you come back in and you study it for yourself. Uh, so next time you sit down to study God's word, make sure you start with a bigger perspective of the passage that you're studying. It will help you make sure you're reading in context and it'll be a valuable, a valuable tip for you. Mm -hmm.